Praise the Lord, everybody. It is your boy, Lonnie Hunter, and I am your virtual host for the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour brought to you by Black and Positively Golden. 14 years, family, we have been bringing you the best in good gospel music across this great nation. But now, as you know, things have shifted a little bit, but guess who else shifted? We did, because we've got a four-city tour planned for you that's going to blow your mind. Dallas, Chicago, Atlanta, Detroit. Now, what I want you to understand is each one of these cities is rich in gospel history, is rich in the legacy that they bring to the industry. So what I need you to do is every time you see an artist on this virtual tour, know that they are representing that city. All right, now this is where it gets fun. You get to decide which city you like the best. It's all friendly, it's all good, it's all fun. It's all in an effort to lift your spirit through this pandemic season. So if you will, and if you will allow me, I'm about to take this thing to the next level because Chicago is up first. How about we get it done? Let's go. Adrian Smith, McDonald's owner operator. And on behalf of the National Black McDonald's Owners Association, I'm excited to welcome you to the 14th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. Powered by our Black and Positively Golden Movement, uplifting the Black community through initiatives that provide opportunities for the next generation of leaders, taking steps today to own tomorrow. Now, let's hear from Chicago's very own McDonald's Black Owner Operator, Doris Bull Reese. Hi, my name is Doris Boris, and I am proud to represent the Black McDonald's Owner Operators Association. 
of Chicagoland in Northwest Indiana. The BMOA is proud to join with McDonald's USA and Black and Positively Golden Movement in lifting up the community for the next generation of leaders. We are very dedicated to our community and find joy in giving back. During the Thanksgiving holiday, we give away food boxes and turkeys for families in need. We also provide school supplies and college scholarships for kids in our neighborhood. Uh, I believe that Chicago has one of, if not the richest history of gospel music. The rich history of gospel music in Chicago goes way back to the father father of gospel music, Thomas A. Dorsey. Who comes to mind when I think about gospel in Chicago, of course Thomas Dorsey. Well you know Chicago and Detroit, we fight all the time about where gospel really started, what was the headquarters of it, but you know we have a claim to it, right there on like 35th -ish Street and then you got um, you know where Thomas Dorsey first kind of released his first gospel, you know the first gospel song, Precious Lord, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Chicago, we got a good argument. There's a rich history of gospel music in Chicago. I mean, it's really considered the birthplace of gospel music. Thomas A. Dorsey, of course, Mahalia Jackson was here. Uh, Walt Whitman and the Soul Children of Chicago. Uh, I grew up listening to them, uh, Pastor Clay Evans and the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, I can remember those sounds in my house. Reverend Clay Evans, Father Charles G. Hayes, uh, you talk about the caravans, uh, Dolores Barrett Campbell and Barrett Sisters. I could go on and on and on. But it's always been a very uh, just beautiful place to live when it comes to gospel. My whole life, even before I knew there was a really a gospel industry and that there were artists and that people were um, actually you know, out there publishing and writing songs, I just knew church music as a you know, church organist myself, uh, you know, uh, being able to hear music from the Tommies and, and Cosmopolitan and all the other stuff, all the incredible Chicago choirs. Uh, it was such an honor to know that music, even the mass choir. Uh, Chicago Mass and uh, you know Joshua Troop and New Direction. Like, cause I remember growing up and just flat out hearing about choir concerts that were bigger than some of your mainstream concerts. Like you had, of course, Ricky Dillard, but then you had like the Thompson Community Singers, Percy Baby. So Mahalia Jackson was here. Um, of course, we can't forget the, the Caravans, Albertina Walker. Um, so much rich history from here. Everybody came through here. Um, besides Mahalia, you know, um, again, going back to Dr. Dorsey, who really is considered the father of gospel music, and Pilgrim Church, you know, it really just starts right here. And I always say, you know, if there's any place where gospel music is a lifestyle, Chicago is the lifestyle of gospel music. There's always something going on in gospel. Chicago is like Nashville is to country music. Chicago is gospel music. We have such a rich heritage here in Chicago or, and in Illinois of our founding fathers who were uh, encouraged, inspired, uh, innovators, revolutionizers of the music, and they were all criticized and persecuted for it, for the sound of it. It was too much, the gospel, the sound of gospel became a little bit too much for some of those who thought, felt that it was too out there. But we thank God that they end up liking what they hated and or what they did not so called like, they end up liking it. How can you not like a message of Jesus mixed in to a musical sound? Todd Delaney is an incredible artist, a phenomenal songwriter, an extraordinary father and husband and man of God. Who cannot love Todd? His music has been overwhelming. It has been a blessing. Um, just so many creative things have come out of Todd. The most recent work of Todd, the, the singing directly from the Bible, uh, so many were impacted from that and inspired by that. I love Todd Delaney. I, I really first um, got to experience him at my church. We were going to the same church, Living Word Christian Center, and he was doing worship there. And man, he was just... It was just amazing. It's a blessing to see where he is now. I can remember doing studio sessions with Todd and uh, he was always a student. He was always learning. So to see where he is now and having such a major impact, not only in Chicago and the U.S., but, you know, abroad, um, his light shines. I champion Todd Delaney. I think he's a great artist and I'm 
really proud to see what he's doing. Every time I see him soaring, I just smile and say, I knew you had it. Just king, everlasting father. There is a 
shifting when I call his name. Yes, God. I know this. It is the sweetest name that I know. Something about the name Jesus Something about the name of Jesus Said it is the sweetest Ooh. Hallelujah You have
thankful for what you did on the cross but I'm even more thankful that you decided to get up just for me Tonight, family, it is not just about ministry through music. It's about ministry as a whole. And as you know, ministry is about being a blessing to others. And we want to offer you that opportunity. Ministry of time, ministry of resources, ministry of talent, ministry of giving. All of that is available to you. Through your donations, do you understand that the Ronald McDonald House Charities, they are able to offer services to these families across the Chicago area that allows them to focus on one thing and one thing only, their sick child. Now, as you know, this pandemic has wreaked havoc in ways seen and unseen, but I'm just crazy enough to believe that we are more than conquerors and we will not be defeated. Since 1974, Ronald McDonald House Charities has helped families save nearly $100 million each year on meals and lodging because we believe that no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. And thanks to your generous support, they don't have to. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Movement is launching a mentorship program where industry leaders from across several disciplines, including music, are coming together with next generation leaders and helping them get it done. So what we want to do is we want to highlight one of the things that this next artist is already doing through his own mentorship program. This will be interesting. Check this out. Yeah, so Eli Nation is uh, this nonprofit organization I started in 2016. I was basically studying uh, the book of Job. Have you ever read the book of Job? Because I didn't. I knew the story, but to actually read it, uh, I didn't have to read it until I actually you know, went to school uh, in Moody. And so I ran across this weird character called Elihu. And he was like, hey, he was standing there with all the friends, Job, while they were trying to talk him down. And he was like, I was quiet this whole time because you guys were older. So I assumed that you guys would know better but now I realize that sometimes wisdom doesn't just come from age. And we can actually be young and have some sense. We can be young and have some wisdom. And so I really wanted to make sure that I emphasized wisdom in our generation. So that's what we do. We do uh, events, uh, wisdom building events. We give scholarships uh, every year. Um, we're up to about 40,000 bucks now. And it's just really an honor to even see how much wisdom and sense this generation has. Because sometimes if you just look at Twitter, you might be discouraged, and, uh, but they're still out here and they are uh, going to school, becoming great assets for the kingdom. I'm not even you know, incredibly aware of everything that's going on right now, but what I do, what I have noticed uh, its effect, is kind of like a bat signal in the air. I didn't expect that. I really expected, you know, um, maybe just, you know, this people who are fans of the music to show up and they wanted to be a part of this, you know, because I was doing it and I was bringing Tasha Cobbs in sometimes and I was bringing a cool uh, apologist in sometimes. But what I really found out was uh, it was like a bat signal in the air that attracted an entire wave of young Christians who have been waiting for more intellectual outlets, waiting for more intellectual stimulation, waiting for somebody to talk uh, and not just tell them, you know, faith over common sense, you know what I'm saying? You know, something like that. Sometimes the rhetoric of church on accident sometimes lowers, you know, understanding. It lowers uh, or, or kind of devalues just kind of reading the word and studying to show yourself approved. Jonathan McReynolds, J. Mac, there is nobody to compare him to. Like he is his own. He is, I would say he's an alien of, of the voice. Like there, you can't duplicate him. You, nobody can copy him. Nobody's like him. And we needed, we needed him. 
in, in gospel music. Jonathan is um, a unique gift for this time. He's so creative, he's such a poet, and um, it's just been great to see someone with that kind of art, that kind of uniqueness, come out during this time. He gave us an expression that made people feel like, hey, I can actually do this too. You don't have to sound like the church to be heard and to still represent Christ. He's just so gifted and so gifted with lyric and melody as well as playing and singing. He's just all around a unique gift and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to know him and I'm glad he's from Chicago. Some people base their whole
Figure something out. 2020 was here to break some cycles off the church, off the culture, and off of us. Let's do it. It's coming back up again Must be something I ate Some song, some show, some hate like he can take my joy, my peace, my faith. Oh, see the devil, he learns from your mistakes, even if you don't. Mm -hmm. That's how he keeps you in cycles. Cycles. He tries to keep us in cycles. About you, but I'm not going in. Psycho, oh, no, no. Psycho, I refuse to stay in. Psycho, oh, no, no. Psycho, Take me to the bridge. Who's so Lord? Help me be free from all of my past sin. See your
home. It's about more than four walls and a roof. It's about comfort, safety, and having peace of mind. That's why we help families who are far from home stay close to their hospitalized child without incurring hotel and food costs because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. One of the first uh, solos I ever sang was God is Able uh, by Smokey Norfolk. And uh, something about him being able to, uh, to completely fill a church, to completely make you feel God and feel that same familiar feeling that you used to feel on Sunday, but he did it by himself. It's been great to reconnect with Chicago artist, Pastor Smokey North. Listen, that man can just sing. I just sit there and shake my head and say, I miss your voice so much, man. You can just sing. Pastor Smokey Norfolk, I don't think I could ever saw our relationship unfold in the way it has. Like, he has always been a mentor since I met him. You know, when I was a kid, I met him. My, my brother and, and Pastor Norfolk both went to college together at the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. But I never would have imagined that he would become like a roadmap for me. I remember first hearing him on the radio with the Tommies. I was like, who is that? And he is really young to be able to sing like that. Not just his ability, but to know how to ad lib and tell the story inside the song. That usually comes with a little bit more age. He was much younger then, but he was just an old soul and he still got it. He's been a roadmap for me. And I mean, music aside, he's one of the greatest voices of all time. You know, and so to get a chance to study behind somebody like that, that's, it's a rarity. And I'm mad, mad grateful every time that I can pick my phone up and call him. No one else gets the glory for what God has done in my life. It's the Lord's doing, and it's just marvelous in our eyes. Come on, you got a testimony. Say, no one else gets the glory for what God has done in my life. Come on, help me with this right here. I need you all over the world. Jump up and let's have a great time in God. You ready? No, I can't hear y'all at home.
he has saved you, that he has redeemed you, but more importantly, that he has justified you. I need you to get ready to sing this with me. Throw your head back and say, I'm grateful that I am justified. Come on, here you go. This is your part. excited to know that I've got a God that will do it. I've got a God that will step in, that will uh, move problems and storms out of the way. And ultimately, when he steps in, he changes everything. And so I don't want you to be casual about this, but I want you to be very comfortable with him tonight because he's the kind of God that I can go to. He's the kind of God that allows me to not just lean on him, but to lay on him. So right where you are, I want you to just lay on him. Just let him know, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. In my heart, in my home, I need you. This is a moment where you get to be intimate with God. This is a moment when you get to get in his face. And say, not a second or another minute. 
not an hour of another day. Lord, Lord, at this moment with our arms outstretched, God, we need you to make a way as you have always and already, already done. So many times before, thank you, Lord, sometimes through a window or barely open door, Father, we stretch our hands to thee. Please come and rescue me, because I need you right away. I need you no. Sometimes I just have to reach for my grandmama's remedy. She would say it like this. I need the Just say, hallelujah. God, you'll get the glory. Thank you in advance, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, ain't it good to know that when God speaks, can't nobody else say nothing. It's just a man. So I 
I sing hallelujah. God, I'll be ever careful to give your name. All the glory. Please revive us again. In the white house, we need you. In the black house, we need you, Lord. Please revive us again. All over the world, we need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Lord, please revive us again. Heal the land, Lord. Heal the land, Lord. Heal the land. And I don't have to wait till the battle is over. I can shout right now. Because I believe it's already revived. Oh, When a child is sick, the uncertainty can be overwhelming. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities envisions a world where all children have access to reliable medical care and support, where families can find hope, and courage, and stay together. Hello, my name is Pastor John Hanna, and I'm from the holy city called Chicago. And I'm excited to be a part of the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. It is amazing how things have changed, but I always say, when you can't do what you normally do, then the question is, God, what do we do next? I just want to encourage you in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of racial and social injustice, there's a lot going on, but we still believe that he is God and that he is sovereign and that he reigns on the throne. We understand that when the children of Israel were brought out of Egypt, the Bible lets us know that God took them the long route and they ended up at the Red Sea with the enemy coming in behind them. In other words, they were at a standstill. Is there anyone besides me that feels as if you are at a standstill due to everything that is going on. And when the children of Israel began to panic, and I want to say to us, this is the wrong time to panic. It's the wrong time to lose it. We need to know that he is God. Allow me just to share with you what he told Moses to tell the children of Israel, and that is what I say to you today. In the midst of everything that is going on, and it appears as if we are stuck and we are standing still. He says, number one, don't be afraid. Let me encourage you that this is the wrong time to become fearful. I say to you like he said to Joshua, be strong and courageous. The second thing that he says after he says is don't be afraid, he says stand still. In other words, don't worry about it. Know that God has this thing. I want some of y'all to stand in your anointing, stand in your calling, stand in your victory. The third thing he says, listen, open your eyes so that you could see how God is about to fight for you. One line he says, listen to this, he says what you see now you'll never see again. I believe that when this is over, we'll never be back here again. But it is important that we do what? That we know that God is still on the throne. Please be encouraged. Do not give up. What does the Bible says? Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season, we, my brothers and my sisters, we are going to reap if we faint not during this time. God is on our side. Stay strong. So with Chicago music, you get a little bit of everything. Like you, it's not just, we're not one dimensional by any means. You get praise and worship, you get soul, you get choir, you get a little bit of everything. And, and when I think soul, you think Anita Wilson in Chicago. You know, Anita's special to me because she started off singing with me. She's kind of like a mentee. I, I trained her and she learned well. So I'm really proud of her. She is like, they, you know how they call them Southern Bells? She is our, our sweet, sweet 
Northern Sound here in Chicago. And she gives us a different flavor to what it is that all of us offer. She's just a great artist, like the, the richness and the smokiness of her tone and just the, just the soul in her voice and that she's learned to really create her own lane of gospel music. It's kind of what she calls worship soul, so it's kind of worship music with some soul to it. It definitely has the throwback of the 70s and 80s in it, and I love everything about it. It's creativity, it's art, but it's also her ministry and it's her passion. Opens door. Come on, let's celebrate this love, family. our best. He's such a good God. He's such a faithful father. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter the chaos that may surround us. God is still faithful and he loves us like nobody else can love us. I want to sing a bit of a, a love song to God. I call it my little slow jam to God. But Sometimes you think about his love and you can't even think of the words to say to express your heart. This song simply says, I'm so in awe of you. Lord, you leave me speechless. I can say that you're wonderful, but it doesn't seem good enough. I can say that you're kind, but that would miss the mark. I can say that you're beautiful, but to me you are so much more. How do I communicate exactly who you are? I'm trying to convey yes. the sentiments of my heart and say I really do. Yeah. 
For you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 
glory to God. Well, listen, many of you may or may not know I am the daughter of a Baptist pastor. He's in heaven now, but he, he did what the Bible said. He raised me up in the way that I should go, and, and I, I have not departed from it. So listen, we, we, we be in churchy tonight. We might as well be, we might as well go on and get a little churchy. Look at somebody right in your house. Say, neighbor, say whatever you need Jesus to do. Say this for me. He still will. He still will. Jesus still will come through for you. Yeah. I believe it, y'all. I believe it.
strong. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Every parent dreams of watching their little boy or girl grow up to be healthy and strong, to run far and jump high. But a single diagnosis can change everything. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities has supported families around the world, providing all the comforts of home for more than 45 years. Yet, because the need is so great, more than 138,000 families are turned away each year, a number that has grown since the COVID-19 pandemic. That's hundreds of thousands of families who won't get the comfort of sleeping just steps away from their child's hospital, or the compassion of caring volunteers and staff, or the peace of mind of staying together during their toughest season of life. But today, you can help. Ronald McDonald House Charities relies on volunteers and donations to keep their mission going. And there's no better time than right now to get involved. Your gift today means one more family will have the stress of their financial burdens erased and one more family will receive the gift of togetherness. So give now, because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. Family, we would really like for you to find it in your heart of hearts to be a blessing to these families across the Chicagoland area. No gift is too big or too small. Whatever you do, it will be a blessing added to the other blessings to make for a great blessing for some Chicago families. The Ronald McDonald House Charities will be able to shop locally, to make things happen locally so that we reduce the risk of deliveries coming in and out of the, the facility. This is impactful in so many ways. So family, if you will, the website is listed below. Log on donate today. Donald Lawrence, um, I was a fan of Tri-City Singers, Donald Lawrence and Tri-City before I was blessed to be a part of his ministry, uh, the company. Uh, Donald continues to innovate and uh, evolve and uh, reinvent himself. Um, so many people in the industry, not just gospel music, but just in, in the entertainment industry, respect him. Donald Lawrence flat out called the record label that I'm signed to now and said, this kid will be, he will be, and he has not stopped supporting me. Before I started singing, I was a musician. I just played the organ, you know, for the state youth choir, for my local church. And so we had to learn so many Ricky Dillard and Donald Lawrence songs. I mean, we, we had to, to live on top of the world all during, you know, Kojic Convocation sometimes. There's not many people like Donald. He brings so much to the table uh, with his knowledge and wisdom, his journey, his experience. And I'm honored to be so grateful, so humble to be connected to him. And I'm grateful for how he continues to pour into me. So, salute, sir. <laughs> Hello everyone, hope y'all enjoying this concert. I got my company here and we wanna to continue to sing the blessings on you. Ben, y'all ready? Let's do this. Come on y'all. Uh. Y'all know this song, it's right there at home. Why don't you just stand up and clap your hands, sing along. Let's get through this pandemic together. Realizing that the blessing is on us. What y'all gonna say?
a trying time and things have been sort of strange and we have a kind of a new normal, the real normal is the best is still yet to come. Come on, let's, let's party, everybody. Put your hands together out there like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, let, let me see y'all move. Get your children. speak healing healing is the children's bread you understand what i'm saying so right where you are just talk to yourself and just say i am healed i am healed those words mean a lot to me i am healed i am healed i am healed you may have some scars but you're still healed you have to decree and declare that today what y'all gonna say
Yes, sir. Listen. There's something about meditation and prayer and worship. It centers us. And during this time when things are just different and people have lost so much, lost jobs, they've lost loved ones, they don't know sometimes where their next income is coming from, where their next meal is coming from. One of the things that I learned that centers us is med meditation and prayer and worship. Because there's something powerful about your worship. So as we sing this song, as Toby tells this story, I want you to understand that if you can just focus your worship, it will take your mind off your problems. It will take your mind off your present situation and carry you somewhere. And when you come back, everything is just better. You just feel better. And when your mentality gets better, that's when things around you start changing for the better. So I'm going to ask Toby to sing a little bit of this. And she's going to sing it. And she's speaking to you because she's telling you to find your worship. Find your meditation. Find your center so that things will feel better for you during this trouble time. Toby. meditation that's when a great awakening happens and, and I don't know about you this is a different time but I think people are waking up during this time there's an awakening happening with people and they're looking at life differently things that used to bother them don't bother them the same no more and things that they've let hang on for a long time they're getting rid of because they realize that life is short and and so this song that I wrote, it, 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 people take it a certain kind of way, but this is what it means to me. When, this, when, when, when Sunday comes, it's a great awakening. It's a time where you wake up in a new consciousness and 
the things that used to bother you don't bother you no more. And the things that you were holding on to, you let go. You got a brand new you and a brand new, yes. and brand new perspective on life. So I'm speaking that Sunday is coming for a lot of people yes. that you are waking up now that people that was in your life that you didn't need them to be there, you let them go because you woke up. <laughs> and, and things that you was holding on, bitterness in your heart, you let it go because you woke up. Experience your Sunday. Just say, I've got my Sunday. I got my Sunday. My Sunday has come. I've awakened and it's a new me. It's a new day. I'm new from the top of my head to the soles of my feet because I found my Sunday. <laughs> my Sunday came from me and I'm awake. And oh, I shouldn't, oh, this time shouldn't have woke me up because now you got a different person to deal with. You got a person that's got big faith to deal with now. You got a person that can look and see their dreams and make them come true. You got a person that talk to doors who've been closed in their face and open them because my Sunday has come for me. Just say, I got my Sunday. I found my Sunday. I found my Sunday. I found my Sunday. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm bringing to the stage um, my, my sister. I've known her since she was a little kid. She's one of my favorite singers. Y'all please show some love for Miss Lejeune Thompson singing this classic that I wrote when Sunday comes.
Show some love for Miss LeJune Thompson. Thank God for your Sunday. And see, when you find your Sunday, you realize your words got power. And you don't need anyone to help you or speak to you or speak over you. You can speak over your own self. God gave us a power that we can speak to our situation and change it. And I always say it like this. Well, you can't really go anywhere right now, but when you can, don't wait for anybody else to take you on a vacation. Take your own self on a vacation. <laughs> don't wait for anybody to validate you. God gave you power to validate yourself. Right. Um, I wrote this song some, some years ago now, and, and it seems like it was just a few years ago, but it's been really over a decade now. And I have my, the original singer, my sister, she's going to come and sing a little bit of this, y'all. Please welcome to the stage Miss Sherry Jones Moffitt.
quick, there, there's some, there might be some grandmothers at home that, that know them old songs. Just line one of them hymns real quick for me right there where you at. If the Lord don't help me, I can't stand the storm. If the Lord don't help me, Jerry Jones Moffat, everybody. Hallelujah. All right, I'm done. We, 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 we done. We done. I thought, you know, we can't forget the traditionals, and there's some grandmothers and some great grandmothers love those those hymns. So I thought I'd get a little, a little bit of that. Put me, put me in G flat real quick, please. I feel. Seasons everywhere, and I feel blessings in the air. Those seeds that you sow, it's time to come into your own. God's gonna bless his saints, those who have stayed, those who have prayed, he's gonna fulfill every promise he made. I heard the Spirit say, this is the kingdom's time, the waiting is over, walk into your seat. Invested a lot, your return has been slow. We're speaking to you. Throw up your hands and you say, I give up. I can't take it anymore. But I hear the Spirit saying that. Just walk into your season, walk into your wealthy place. This place is prepared for you. Take space, occupy. For I haven't seen it as an earth. So 
I wasn't playing, I just thought I'd throw that in there and encourage somebody that's out there watching and listening that even though it doesn't seem like it's a season for you, I believe that God works in mysterious ways and what may seem like the worst time of your life, he can turn it around for your good. And I want you to know, put a smile on your face and see yourself living on top of the world.
Put a smile on your face and live. Yeah. First of all, if you know Chicago, Chicago is a choir city. There's, it has just choirs everywhere. I, I don't think there's another city that has more choirs than Chicago. And when we talk about choir masters, the first person that comes out of everybody's mouth is the legendary Ricky Dealer. He's, he's a great choir master, but he's also one of my best friends. And when you talk about him, you talk about energy, you talk about style, you talk about someone who, after all these years, is still bending back and touching the floor just about. Um, you know, his energy, his style, the way his choir not only sings, but the way they perform, the energy that they bring to the stage. When, when we talk about choirs worldwide, not just Chicago, but he's our own. When you talk about choirs, you cannot talk about choirs and not talk about Ricky Dillon. And that's why I believe, honestly, Ricky is, and we, and we all know it, he's the choir master. He's the, he's the guy. He gives us flair, he gives us great music, and it's powerful, it's electrifying all the time. You're never gonna outperform people from Chicago. It's just something about them, when you turn it up to 10, they turn it up to 12. When you turn it up to 12, they turn it up to 15. When you turn it up to 15, they're gonna turn it up to 20. You, you're not gonna outperform Chicago people. And Ricky Dill is the master of hitting the stage and setting them a fire. That's just who he is and what he does. And everybody loves Ricky. Like, everybody loves him. I, how could you not love him? He's who he is on stage is who he is when you meet him outside and it's like he is electrifying and um even with this i call them and i say hey, we're going to we're going to battle with the other cities around the world as to gospel music the mecca of gospel music. And i believe in chicago but we cannot do it without spotlighting the maestro and <laughs> and the choir master himself praise the lord everybody Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. We've come to give God the best praise that we have in our mouths today. And those of you who are watching today, we want you to be encouraged. Even in COVID, in this pandemic, God has got us. How many believe that God's got us? He is still great, and he's still greatly to be praised. Come on, band, let's hit that. God is great and greatly to be praised. Come on, put your hand together all over the world today. The greatness of the Lord, the Lord is inconceivable. Lord. The love that is shown, the, the power of the Lord, the Lord is unbeatable. unbeatable. Great. Great. One more time, the greatness of the Lord is inconceivable the love that is shown
hands in the room. All of us in here today, we know how great he's been, how great he is. And because of it, we call him an amazing God. Anybody know that he's an amazing God? He can do anything now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. God is amazing. Lift your hands wherever you are and give a wave offering to an amazing God and we say you're amazing you're amazing you're amazing you're so amazing you're amazing you're amazing you're amazing you're so amazing listen you cause the sun, the stars, and moon to shine. I'm so glad you're mine. Oh, I'm glad to say you're mine.
That's a good place to praise him right there. I said, that's a good place to praise him right there. All oh, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And an amazing God has lifted us. He has brought us. He has kept us. Now get him an amazing praise in the room. Hallelujah. Even in this time that the thief cometh not before to steal, kill, and destroy. But oh, I got news for the enemy today that Jesus said, I've come that they might have life. I can't hear nobody. And that more abundantly. Clap your hands and say, I still got my joy. I still got my joy. I still got my joy. Yes, Lord. More abundantly.
before his kindness, pray before his goodness, his mercy, his grace. Hey Lonnie, check this out. We're gonna figure this out once and for all. I'm calling Kiki right now. To do what? I'm gonna let her know that Chicago is number one. So you in start, the world of Dr. Start only you. In the world. <laughs> but you know I agree, right? Call Thank you. She's gonna That's think it's Detroit saying. though. No, I don't care what she thinks. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is about to be crazy. Oh yeah, she gonna be. You know them Clarks think they. Oh, really? You're going to take it to the whole family? All That's right. I'm going to. Oh, okay. All and right. her brother, too. She thought we was live right then. She going to say, Ty, don't play with me. Don't play. Full mask. Hey, look. I got, I got Uncle full Lonnie mask. over here, Why too. Why you full mask? Why you full mask? <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. Look, because he agreed with me. Kiki, are to come for me? we are trying to come for you. This we, is... ain't, we ain't trying to come for you. We here. We here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Key, Key, listen. This is the truth, though. We just really want to be honest. We like we love you and everything, but we just being honest that Chicago is where it's at when it comes to gospel music. Okay, I need you to run down who you got. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Run it down. We ready? All right. So this this is our set. Me, me. No, no, no. Wait. <laughs> <Twice>. Me, <laughs> yeah. Smokey, Donald, Ricky, 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 and Anita Wilson. And everybody shut it down. So I don't know what y'all getting ready to do, but it better be strong, strong. And Jonathan McReynolds. And Jonathan McReynolds. Oh my gosh. So tell me. It's who's on the show, kid. Let me give y'all the history behind Oh! Okay, history. So, first of all, you got, and you know I don't come on no cocky stuff. Because very come on, let's do it. 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 Let's do
right. Okay. All right, family. So you get to figure it out. I don't know how. Now, you know Todd likes a bunch of foolishness, right? <laughs> Clearly, Kiara do too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so listen, Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, Dallas, it's all up to you. McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour, what you got? 